Ah, hey guys, welcome to Pickups. This is my uh, metal wine cellist enjoying some fine Cabernet Sauvignon. And I'm gonna show you guys my pickups. Let's do this. All right, uh, what's the best thing to start off with? Because I've been getting a lot of stuff lately. Those of you that watch uh, probably know, <laughs> but anyway, it's thanks to the new job I have with Dave and thanks to awesome friends I have at the flea market like um, Dan, Mel, Tim, Mike, and the other Mike, which is Transformers Mike and Star Wars Mike. Uh, equally awesome Mikes. I'll just call them Mikes Squared. Anyway, I'm drinking wine. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get the show on the road. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do just one video or two videos because I have a whole bunch of Power Ranger stuff and I have a bunch of everything else. So uh, I'll start this off with everything else then the other half is gonna be Power Rangers. If there's two videos, you'll know about it when this video is over. <laughs> so you know, just uh, click on the second video or whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna start this off with like the one thing I got that you, you guys know I like Voltron and I found another one so um there he is this is the the plastic one um he's missing his uh, red wings unfortunately but uh he's still you know awesome nonetheless um I paid 10 bucks for him uh I don't know I mean I'm sure he's worth 10 bucks it's Voltron you know like he's you know he comes apart and all that good stuff uh, my Voltron collection <laughs> is right there over my head. Um, I do have like the Black Lion and I have the Red Lion. But uh, last uh, Sunday, I, I saw a guy selling it, the whole thing complete for ten bucks, and I was like, uh, ten bucks doesn't sound awful, so I picked it up from him. So yeah, super, super, super happy about that. Uh, moving on. Oh yeah, uh, this. <laughs> This poor, poor Red Lion, uh, the die-cast one, I find these like a dime a dozen, but unfortunately they're always missing the head, so too bad. But I still pick them up because um, I pretty much paid like 25 cents for this piece, so but whatever. Why not pick it up? One day I'll find a head and then I'll Frankenstein out of all the other bodies like the best thing, you know, so there we go. <clears throat> then... This was another flea market, uh, so me and Blue Buzz Dave are working together, so uh, this Nintendo Zapper picked this up for free. Uh, we ran into, uh, this should be in an episode of uh, Nostalgic and Blue Buzz Dave, uh, just look it up, it's in my uh, playlist video, but um, I got this for free. Uh, we ran into other pickers and guys that clean out houses, and these guys did not care what they were cleaning out, like they basically get paid to clean out the house but they don't resell anything they clean out they just take it straight to the dump and dump it i was so pissed off like this thing is in perfect condition there was also a, a turtle's van on the bottom of the dumpster that they tossed in i was i wasn't gonna risk my life to go get that but a whole bunch of stuff they throw out cds toys vintage toys video games like they were throwing out Com commodore 64s like i was just watching this i'm like do you guys throw this out often they're like we clean out three houses a week. We just dump it all. I was like, oh. so there, there's nothing I can do. Uh, the only thing that Blue Buzz Dave did was uh, he talked to them, and we might uh, work with them to where they'll just they'll get paid, but we'll go in and clean out. You know, take everything that we want. That way, they don't have to pay to dump it. So they save money, and we get stuff that we can sell later. You know, and some of it I can keep. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're working on saving that stuff. Uh, pick this up. Uh, this was from one of the cleanouts as well. I need to fix my thing because I'm not sure what I'm filming here. Sorry. Ah, son of a monkey. Son of a monkey's ass. Anyway, this talk boy. I used to have one. Um, actually, not as a kid, but I had one that was broken. This one works just fine. Even has still has a tape in it. I can't wait to hear what's on it. I haven't had a chance to put batteries in it and uh, play with it, but yeah, talk boy, man, uh, totally for free, so yeah, got that, picked this up at Columbus Flea Market, <coughs> I paid five dollars for it, um, that's gonna be in one of, in, in the next flea market video, flea market adventure video, but this is a, a coin bank from Barnett National Bank, Cocoa, Florida, uh, I guess they were handing these out, I don't know what it is, 
but it's a cool looking rocket, you know? Um, don't let your dirty mind go anywhere else with that. <laughs> mine did at the market. But mine also, my mind also went to, I can turn this into a lightsaber. You know? Comes out of there. Awesome. <laughs> but anyway, whatever it turns into, it's a really cool rocket. So um, I'll either make a steampunk project out of it or keep it in my collection or I might just resell it. I don't know. We'll see. Just when you see something for a good price. This was 25 cents. It's like a little monkey <laughs> monkey uh, nightlight. Uh, got this Michael Jackson uh, bad and inside of it is also off the wall. So paid nothing for this. Uh, grabbed this off the table when Dave was giving stuff away for free at the end of the day at the flea market of stuff we didn't sell. So I was like, I'm just going to take that for myself. So <sighs> I don't know what this is. Please let me know if this is Minecraft. Uh, if it is Minecraft, I'm going to give this to a kid that likes Minecraft because I don't like Minecraft. Not that I don't like it. I just don't play it. Next thing, uh, first thing I saw uh, last time I was uh, at Columbus Flea Market was uh, I came up to the guy that I bought the Voltron from, uh, but I didn't buy the Voltron in the morning because I was like, I don't have money yet, I need to sell stuff, then I'll come back, and he didn't sell the Voltron, so I was like, I'll take it. But I bought this guy, the Street Sharks T-Rex. Isn't he freaking awesome? Look at that. Freaking amazing. I, I paid five bucks for it, and you guys know I'm cheap, so... Uh, I'll pay more than two dollars for something when I actually really like something and I just really like the sculpt on this it looks freaking awesome I like, look at him like yeah yeah anyway I'm drinking wine oh that's delicious Sauvignon got this uh, cab for my 118 scale cars that are up there on the wall the uh, yeah they're right there. <laughs> I have a New York cab, so I like to put 118 and then I'll find the little Hot Wheel size ones to put next to it, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna put that up. I also got this James Bond Aston Martin with a, uh, where's the little switch? Little ejection seat switch. Uh, push that, it opens the thing and, you know, the bad guy flies out. Anyway, these are like $20, it's a Corgi. Um, you can't see anything, I don't think. You can kind of see it. Anyway, it's a Corgi. Um, it was in a pile of Hot Wheels. Uh, I think I got this with another four Hot Wheels for a dollar. Wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, so yeah, these two turtles. Oh yeah, so this Minecraft thing, these two turtles. And there was another thing, I don't remember what it was, but uh, this was all one dollar. It was in a box that said four for a dollar. <sighs> When I throw stuff down there, it sounds worse than it is, so I know some people were like, Man, you really mistreat your toys. No, I don't. They're my collection. Even if I wanted to set them on fire, I can set them on fire, but I don't. It just sounds bad because there's reverb here. Anyway, <laughs> who cares? Uh, picked up this robot also from the dump. Unfortunately, his arm's gone, but they were throwing them out, so Dave picked them up, and he was like, Hey, Naz, you want it? I was like, Yes, I do. I like robots. So I'll put them up with my Transformers and other robots collection up there. I think it's a Hallmark uh, Christmas ornament, but I don't care. He looks cool. I like it. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this was also free, but it's like a metal Barbie thing, I guess, for some high-class lady to wear around her neck with, you know, high-class giant. You're, I'm gonna stop right there. Anyway, it, I'm sure none of it is any fancy uh, metal or diamonds or anything, but it's kind of cute. And someone who collects Barbie might appreciate this, so I'll probably pass this on to somebody who collects Barbie and they can hang it up in their Barbie collection or something. I don't know. Or a high-class lady who wears hoops <laughs> and thinks she's actually Barbie. Hey, Asia, can you take it easy? Alright, this is a bag full of uh, matches. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but some of these are Camel. And, um, uh, yeah, none of them are Camel Joe. So this is a bunch of worthless matches. <laughs> Yay! So, anywho, uh, I'll put that aside. I picked them up for free, so. Next thing. I love the, the original miniseries. 
VHS. I actually paid two dollars for this, so um, it still has its original slip over. It's not sealed, unfortunately. I don't care because I, I paid two bucks for it. It still has its seal, so the box is still in good condition. But this mini series, <coughs> Brian Starner, you you know um, how much I love this, and I know you like this. Um, I do have a twelve-inch. Um, doll or whatever figure with one of the, the visitors as what they were called visitor that later turned into uh victory or whatever uh but yeah uh i love this i can't wait to watch this actually on vhs so again because in my childhood this was the mad notes um asap zonk or aj who is a friend of secondhand daisy on youtube you guys check out their channels, their links in my descriptions to their channels. They also sell stuff at uh, flea markets, they also um, buy stuff, and they have uh, pretty fun little channels. So if you follow them, like they're, <laughs> they're funny dudes. But anyway, this is for AJ. Uh, me and Dave uh, cleared out uh, a storage unit, and there was a, a hat collection of like higher-end hats. And this is a pink uh, Chicago Blue, bowl, uh, blue Balls. <laughs> Chicago <laughs> Yay, I need more wine. Chicago... <laughs> <laughs> Bulls. Anyway, that's embarrassing. Uh, Windy City, it says down there. And, uh, yeah, it's not fitted, but, you know, it's still new. It's got the sticker right there, so it's pink. And uh, AJ likes the Bulls, so there you go, AJ. That's yours. <coughs> I'll give it to you <coughs> sooner or later. For free. And I picked this up. This is in, in my um, flea market hunting video. I think I paid two or three dollars for this. I'm stockpiling these so that um, <clears throat> I can um, have parts like these things, you know, and uh, whatever I can fix, I'll fix, and have a bunch of Game Boys for the future so I can either sell them at some point or do like an art project or whatever. If you can buy a Game Boy for a dollar or two, why wouldn't you? Uh, okay, here's some books I got at home with the Kodak. This is like a really old template. Uh, Jim Skies, Rascals in Paradise. That cover looks mighty fine. The back looks pretty good too. Um, I Oh, that's a bonus. I didn't know that was in there. This is some kind of record with a naked lady on it. All right. Oh, uh, dang. Hmm. But anyway. This is the kind of art that's in this comic book. I don't know what this is, but I looked at the art and, uh, yeah, I think I might have to, uh, either blur that out or put a little disclaimer. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The, the art kind of looks cool. She's like a rocketeer type of chick. It's like, um, along the lines of heavy metal magazines, you know, they were kind of risque or whatever. And this, this looks cool. I don't know. I might do a comic book collage on it. Cold Black, whatever that is. Harold Head, right? Harold Head, number one. I don't know, this might be worth something. I never heard of it. Uh, Superman, giant comics to color. Um, Destroyed, also a giant freaking comic. I mean, compared to my head, that's a giant freaking comic. Um, I mean, I do have a big head, but ugh, that's not physical. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Yay. Okay, this I really like. This is um, Monsters and Heroes. Uh, you guys, this is a very important book because as far as I understand, there's a strip in here. Or that's not this one. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, anyway, this has a whole bunch of um, like old universal monsters and stuff in it and like articles about it. Look at that, it looks like Rocketeer right there. Um, but yeah, you can see that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, um, it's kind of neat. Um, I don't know where that book is, but there's another book that has um, Rocket Raccoon's first uh, comic book appearance in it. So, uh, I don't, is it Vampirella or something else? I forget. But I have that book. <laughs> I think it's somewhere under a bunch of phone books getting flattened out because... Uh, one of these things happened to it, you know, where uh, unfortunate uh, crease because somebody didn't pack it right. 
so yeah, I'm gonna flip those out. Anyway, take my word on that. I definitely picked that book up because I was like, that's Rocket Raccoon, and that's his first appearance. I'm gonna take it. Okay, uh, so that's it for these pickups. I am gonna right away, right now, start to film uh, my Power Rangers pickups, which are pretty awesome. So um, I'll probably put this into a second part. So um, after this video is done, just uh, click on the next video, which in the pickups. Um, Oh my god, I'm sorry guys, I shouldn't drink and do this stuff. Don't drink on YouTube, I think I've said that before. <laughs> anyway, um, this video should be posted right after this video, that way they'll be back to back and you guys, if you feel like watching Power Rangers pickups, you can watch them. If you don't, you'll be like, I don't like Power Rangers, I'm too old for Power Rangers, they're stupid. But, um, there's a preview, I got the Thomas the Tank um, <laughs> crossover with Power Rangers, isn't that freaking weird? Yeah, I picked that up today. Alright. Someone's calling me. Good time to break. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, I love Cabernet Sauvignon. Makes my YouTube videos really strange. Anyway, this is part two of my pickups. And this part two consists of nothing... But, you know why I spaced out? Because I didn't, uh, I thought I didn't put record on. <laughs> anyway, uh, I did put record on. So anyway, this is part two, Power Rangers stuff. You know, like, that guy, he's a Power Ranger. <laughs> Anywho, um, so uh, I'll tell you the stories with all of these. So last video, the first part, I s finished off with this. I uh, picked this up today. I just saw this on MMPR Toys. You, if you guys like Power Rangers, you know that. Uh, YouTube channel with Bruno and Mia they you know it's an awesome channel they're awesome people but uh, yeah they showed that uh, they got this and uh, that these are out uh, I think Bruno mentioned it or whatever I don't know so I believe these are Walmart exclusives and uh, they're Thomas the Tank uh, Thomas the Tank <laughs> Thomas the freaking uh, train thing uh, crossover with um, Power Rangers which is kind of strange um, and to have the whole pack, I still need a four pack that goes with that, which has like a, a Blue Ranger, Black Ranger, Pink Ranger, and Goldar. So other than those four, that's everything else that I have here. So I think it's kind of cool. Um, I honestly, you know me, I just want the green one, but uh, that's how they make money. You gotta buy them all. Uh, okay, this is also from another clean out. It, it didn't cost me anything really. Uh, pick this up and uh, pick this up and this up at uh, the flea market um, Robert he's a, a new friend of mine I met him on YouTube we've been doing a bunch of trading with Power Rangers and stuff like that and uh, he just started a YouTube channel so check it out I'll leave a description on the and uh, you know I'll leave a link in the description below nailed it so um, <laughs> he was still looking for these and I got lucky enough to find exactly the pieces he wanted for uh, his Zeo Megazord that he's almost completing. So he has stuff for me that he's gonna send to me. I think it's a white tiger zord and something else I think. And uh, I've been making a little pile for him as well. So these are going to him for the trade. Uh, pick this up at Columbus. Uh, somebody please let me know what Power Rangers uh, this is from. And let me know if anyone wants it because I obviously don't know what it is, so I don't care. This was from uh, from the Toy Graveyard. Uh, if you're interested to know what I mean by saying Toy Graveyard, look that up in my playlists under uh, Going Nostalgic. And uh, there's something called Toy Graveyard or Toy Junkyard, and uh, it's pretty impressive. It's uh, filled with junk toys, about a foot high in the backyard. Enough said. <coughs> this is from Columbus Flea Market. He was like 25 cents, so I got him. Uh, this was also from Columbus Flea Market. This is also going to Robert in a train. Uh, in a train? In a trade? <laughs> I think I need to. I have another drink. Yay, I like toys. Um, this was also at Columbus Flea Market. If anyone wants it, let me know. I got this for myself because uh, this was Tommy's Zord, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, Tommy, uh, when he was uh, the Red Ranger with the star on his face. Um, so yeah, I figured I should represent Tommy a little bit in my collection with other Rangers that he was in other series. 
other than just the Green Ranger or the White Ranger. So yeah, um, oh yeah, this is also uh, for Robert, the, he needed this part as well. Uh, I don't know which sword this is from, but uh, I picked this, this piece up. So uh, this is from the Toy Junkyard. Stuff from Toy Junkyard I just pick up because uh, I get good deals if I get a bunch of stuff, so. Like, good deals. <laughs> I'm not gonna, anyway, Toy Junkyard, uh, this says Star Trek on there, it's a little, uh, whatchamacallit, whatever. This is also for, for Robert, it's, a uh, he likes, um, morphers and stuff like that from Power Rangers, so he needed this one as well. I don't know if it'll work, it has rusty nails, uh, screws, but uh, when I opened it, nothing was rusty inside, so, I don't know, if he buys batteries, it might work, because, I mean... Look at that inside, that's, it's pristine on the inside. Just a little, just a little scuffed up on the outside. So I think it'll work. <coughs> it's from that giant turtle thing. Um, I don't know what this is from, but it's a sonic phaser from Kusan. Um, whatever, I'm gonna use this in a steampunk cart. This is also for Robert. It's the base for the Thunder Megazord. He needed one and I happened to find one. Unfortunately, it's missing its little wheels, but um, I'll find them another one and send them another one. So, Robert, I'll send you that one. You'll have it, and then I'll find you another one. Trust me, I'll find another one. They're, they're not that hard to come by at Columbus Flea Market. So, once I find that, I'll send it to you and not charge you. I uh, got this also. Again, if anyone wants this, let me know. I like to trade, so if any of you guys watching, you want any of this? We can make trades. I'm extremely fair. Or if you want to just buy something, whatever, I don't care. Got this. I might keep this because uh, Secondhand Daisy found me the frog. And I think the frog goes to this. And then this is the chest piece. And then whatever. It's for the Ninja Megazord. <coughs> found this White Tiger Zord. It's missing the wire that comes out of his butt. And you can control him remotely kind of thing. But, uh... It doesn't have that, but it's in really good condition, so I'm gonna keep it just as it is on display. So he's he's neat. I like him a lot. Got this Zord. If, again, if anyone needs this to complete theirs, this is up for trade or up for sale. I wouldn't want much for it. He needs to be cleaned a little bit, maybe toothbrushed or something. But other than that, there's no damage at all. Just needs to be a little love, loved and washed. This thing, I don't know what this is from, <coughs> but he is so cool. Like, the sculpt is amazing on him. And his mouth opens a little. I don't know. If anyone knows, please let me know. I think I'm keeping him because uh, I really like the sculpt. I just, just would like to know what, what it's from. <laughs> so somebody please let me know. Let me know, please. I ain't right. Star Trek phaser that becomes like a poly pocket type of thing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I got it because I thought it was like one of those cheap phaser things and I was just gonna steampunk it up. But uh, it's not. It's kind of cool. So it's from 1995 Paramount Pictures. So if someone wants it, let me know. We'll figure something out. If not, I'll steampunk it up. Uh, another big day. Those of you that know, you know. I've been, I found him recently at the toy store that we went to uh, with the guys. Uh, what was it called? I forget. Uh, insert it right there. Um, so yeah, check out that video, by the way. We got, uh, Mel got the uh, Jetfire and um, I picked up one of these. Then got a couple of, uh, what are they called? Uh, disguisers or something like that. They're uh, pretenders for, for uh, Transformers. Uh, and uh, Transformers Mike picked up a couple of Transformers figures as well. But anyway, watch that video. The toy store is amazing. But um, <laughs> the thing I picked up from there for $10 was just him with no horns. You guys know the horns are always missing. Those of you that like Power Rangers. Um, the one I got from the store only had the cannon, but not the horns. So now I have the horns. And the horns alone are on eBay. Like, look it up. They're like $20 or something. It's ridiculous. So for my Megazord behind me, in that case, in this case right there, see this one right there, the Megazord is down there somewhere, and uh, I will put the horns on that, and also found this. So I have him, uh, I got him from Robert, same guy I'm sending the other stuff from, 
but uh, I found another one so now I have two I'll see which one's better and that's the one that's gonna end up on my Megazord that's gonna stay in my collection all right what else this crazy Power Ranger -y gun <laughs> uh, I'll steampunk this up too Whoops. Okay. This is also for Robert. If he needed one for his collection, he has the body and all that, but he didn't have this head, so I found one for him. Uh, <coughs> this is from uh, Voltron, I think, the uh, vehicle of Voltron. Also found this guy, which I believe is the same situation. I think these two go together. From Yeah, that looks like something goes there yeah it does wow i just learned something anyway there you go <laughs> so yeah i got those someone please let me know what this is is this from power rangers is this from i don't know from what uh, uh the rest of it's just whatever kibbles uh this little guy his giant head thing i know it's power rangers thunder zord uh, thing this thing, I don't know what that goes to, but I think it's important for some toy. Zack. And mystery piece for a Power Ranger. Uh, Zord. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh. And finally, uh, picked this up. I forget where. I think it was um, at a, uh, yeah, a warehouse that me and Dave were cleaning out. This was with all the books. Uh, I'm going to pass this on to 8-Byte Brian. He's another YouTuber local youtuber that uh we hang out with at the market and stuff like that so uh he's a cool dude check out his videos uh also okay this was from a from another clean out not a clean out it was um what do you call it why can't i ever say that's the most obvious thing the storage auction place so these were the guy was apparently into uh wrestling stuff so there was a ton of figures which we sold already and there was also a bunch of these autographed photos. So if any of you want these, let me know. So we have this guy that I don't know who he is with a signature. We have this interesting lady right here with a signature. Hi, Maggie. Maggie was taking a nap. <laughs> this guy, it's signed right there. And this guy, also signed. There you go. Uh, let's see, we got this guy, actually that's Brett the Hitman Hart, right? Yeah, that's the one I remember actually, he's cool. Signed, this guy also signed. This is an old poster from the 20s, I forgot it was there. Uh, we got this chick, whoever she is, I think she likes to say Friday. And this guy, I don't know who he is, but it's... Will, thank you for your partnership on WWE Action Figures. You will continue to be a great success. Jer Jeremy Padovara? Whatever. I'm sure it's cool and important for someone who loves wrestling. <coughs> so yeah. Anyone want any of these photos that are autographed, let me know. They look legit. <coughs> <coughs> we found them at a storage <coughs> unit that we bought. <coughs> anyway. So yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for, uh, for the pickups for, for this week i guess or whatever um there's more to come stay tuned for uh a bunch of flea market videos that are coming up i'm just editing them right now uh two pickup videos that you just watched this was the part two of the the two part thing uh there's gonna be more blue working with blue buzz dave where we go to like uh really cool antique collector houses uh, where we dump uh metal scrap stuff we do all sorts of stuff. We go to the farms. There's, it's a, it's a great series. I'm doing this. It's basically what I do with Dave when I work with him, and it's amazing. Trust me, it's, it's an adventure. So <laughs> give, give that series a try. Uh, I think you'll like it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, just look at my, uh, you know, view lists and stuff. There's a lot of awesome stuff. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and like I just told you, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Later. <laughs>